One of my favorite things about Video Leap is that it lets you work with multiple video tracks or layers. That means you can do things like this. Place two clips side by side and it runs on your iPad or iPhone. Let me show you how to do it. I've opened up a project in Video Leap. I'll tap on the plus sign to add some media. This will be my main video clip. Each time I add a video clip, I like to play the clip to make sure it's the right one and the one I want to use. I'll quickly tap the play icon to scrub through the footage and take a look at it. Now I need to add a copy of the video clip. I'll tap on Mixer, select a clip, and then tap Add to Project. But this has been added in the wrong place, so I'll long press on the bubble thumbnail and drag the footage down to the trash can to delete it. Then I'll scrub back to the beginning of my main clip and repeat that process. I'll tap Mixer once more, select my clip, and then tap Add to Project. It will appear over top of my main video clip. I've chosen to use two copies of the same clip because they line up perfectly. This is not necessary, but may be important if you're playing two clips side by side to compare them. Say for example, if the second clip had a filter applied to it. You can add more than one video clip to the same project. Once my clip is added, I'll apply a black and white filter. To move the clips into position, just tap each clip on the timeline so that it appears selected and you see the pink box. When you do long press on the clip and swipe over with your finger to move the clip to the position where you want it. To move the second clip, just tap on it and repeat the same process. To place two clips side by side, once they are in the timeline, you need to select each clip and move it into the position where you want it. I'd like to place the original clip on the left and the black and white clip on the right. You'll also want to make sure that your format is set correctly. I've chosen 16 by 9 because I will be uploading this video to YouTube. Keep in mind that once you set your format, you have the whole black area to work with. As long as the two clips remain inside the black area, they will be completely visible when they're exported. I can also place the clips one right next to the other. That looks good. When I'm done, I'll tap the play icon to make sure that the clips match up exactly. And then I'll add a little bit of space between them before I export the final video. Anything that you add to a Video Leap project will appear as its own layer, whether that's multiple clips, like I'm doing here, music, sound effects, filters, and even voiceovers. Each will appear as its own layer in your project. I like to take a look at my videos as I go to see how the final project is going to look once I export it. Then I can make adjustments. I might want to put a bit more space in between these two video clips. Once I'm done and I'm happy with how it looks, the next step is to export your video. To do that, just tap export in the upper right hand corner. This will allow you to save your video with all of its edits. You can save the video to your device, you can send it to someone using Apple messages, or save it in the cloud. Use one of these three options at the top. Set the resolution and tap export. I'm using 1080p. Don't lock your screen or close the app while the project exports.
If you do, you'll have to repeat the process. The project has now been exported to my camera roll. If you have comments or questions, put them below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.